Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Victory at Sea Pacific, episode number, the end episode. Like, I'm not exactly sure that that's the case, but almost surely it is. So we have our first nuclear bomb on the way to Hiroshima, or Hiroshima. I kind of prefer to say it Hiroshima, although I've also, uh, I think it's the Americanized pronunciation, which uh, leads me to believe sometimes it's Hiroshima. So Hiroshima. So she's very close, and we do have an escort that conveniently is almost in formation with her, besides the fact that she's the escort, I mean. A bunch of wildcats, which, oh gosh, we have to replace those, but might just be the end of the war before we get that done. Now, getting to Nagasaki seems like it'll be a bit more of a challenge, because we do have Shimo Koshiki in the way, and so Sabo, but the, once this nuke falls, and the repair time on these airports, it's going to be long enough that I believe I believe we we'll, won't have any influence from the main island of Japan so we just have three ports which we can slowly start to knock out once Okinawa gets some reinforcements and we can send more reinforcements that way they are delivering supplies do we need supplies here yeah I'd say we do and again, we could construct a shipyard. Did we start constructing a shipyard here? We did not, but we could start constructing a shipyard at, for example, Iwo Jima, if we wanted to basically just improve the... Um, uh, wait, wait, let me see actually something. Is there a difference in AA strength? 41, okay, so 48, war, uh, 1.74 versus 1.61. And this thing has like no stores left, so let's make it a mid. <laughs> we need you to supply it now. <laughs> but Okinawa appears to be the priority. Yeah, we probably should set these to medium now, at best, medium. And these should be high priority, especially Okinawa. So we've finally pushed supply all the way to the very, very edges. Yep, interesting. Okay, well, let's uh, go ahead and unpause, move a little bit forward in terms of time, and I want to use, I want to grab these level bombers. If we go back in, will they hit the deck? Will they be on the sea floor or ground floor? Are they going to bug out and lose all their altitude is the question. And I'm choosing these two level bombers because I don't, yep, they, I, yep, the answer to that was yes. But the bigger question is, is this level bomber going to lose its altitude? Because that's a lot bigger of a problem. Gosh darn it, it did. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, well, at least it's supposed to... Ah, oh, well, this is really annoying. Okay, well, we'll still give the order to attack Hir uh, Hiroshima, but not exactly what I wanted to have happen with the altitude. She'll probably gain a fair amount of altitude by the time she gets there, but okay, fair enough. We don't really need to chase the spotter away. We basically just need to make sure... Oh, some dive bombers going after CT <laughs> CTFC has had a lot of problems. And the question is, will we even launch the second dive bomber? I don't know. So we could actually kill this spotter. Okay, we've loaded this area now, so going in should not, should no longer cause them. Yeah, good. Where's the one behind us? Oh, there it is. Oh, we're getting shot down. Uh, that That's not good. This entire formation should full pull back. Yeah, I want you guys, first of all, climb a little bit more. And other, otherwise, just get out of here. Because it doesn't look like they're bombing us or doing anything. They're not sending in any uh, forces to... Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh. So she will be over 3,000, looks like, by the time she's over Cure. Yeah, we're watching this. Here it comes. Enemy fleet destroyed near Long Island. No, I don't care. We're going to watch this. So you definitely can be very close. My goodness. It's hilarious that they did this. <laughs> It's so hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Turn back. <laughs> Turn back. I don't see it. Where's the nuke? We lost eyes on. We lost eyes on the prize. There it is. Got eyes on. Is it gonna hit the water? I guess it doesn't matter. Nope, it's gonna hit the land. Nope, it's gonna hit the water. Nope, it's gonna hit the land. Oh my gosh. That scared the pants off me, actually. And it does not appear to have done a lot of damage, actually. <laughs> it's not the, nearly the damage I was expecting it to do. Okay, never mind. It did the damage. No, it didn't. 39%. That's a little weak. On Monday, 14th of September, 1942, a B-29 bomber named Enola Gay took off from the island of Iwo Jima and headed toward Japan. This is amazing, by the way. The bomber's primary target was the city of Hir uh, Hiroshima. Hiroshima had a civilian population of almost 300,000 and was an important military center containing about 43,000 soldiers. Our second atomic bomb, Fat Man, has been loaded aboard the B-29 number 77 boxcar. Its designated target is the city of Nagasaki. Drop the atomic bomb on Nagasaki. Okay, well, this is... Like, crazy. <laughs> now, we can use our B-29s, by the way, in a second roll, which is to attack their carrier group. CTFC is going to move over to attack this carrier group. We basically don't... Well, Nagasaki is in range, I'm pretty sure, of this. Yeah. So we can get to Nagasaki, but we probably need to do a lot of damage first. So we're, it might take us a little while for us to get everything else ready, basically is what I'm trying to say. So let's attack these three cargo ship. Wait, we can't. Can we attack? Yes, launch some aircraft. Probably don't need all that aircraft. And uh, go ahead and return to port. Kyushu. Yeah, CTC needs to get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay, well, how many did we buy? Uh, 24 dive bombers. Okay, so let's split this group up, actually. First of all, you guys gotta get the hell back. I don't know where you are. This entire group. What are they doing? Good lord, go back and land. You're almost out. This is 20. Okay, 24. This 24 should go after this group instead. Um, this is too many, though. So we want... Is this you guys? Okay, so let's take four of them and make a new group. And have this new group go after this one cargo plane. And these five, wait, nine, 15. Torpedo bombers goes after this. Other torpedo, wait, sorry. Other dive bombers goes after this. 
Now, we want to zoom in on CTFC just because, uh, yeah, we, we want to be watching them basically. So their mission now is also to return to Iwo Jima. Don't care about torpedo bombers. There's no dive bombers here. So I think we're going to be okay. I have no idea where everyone's going, but whatever. So first SAG is ready to undock. We know that. CTFA is ready to undock. Okay, it's one down. Another one down. Good. No problems at all. No problems at all. And honestly, we should, we do need to continue building. Um, we should be building more Baltimore. Should we be building them at Iwo Jima? I tentatively think we should construct a shipyard at Okinawa because it'll help control everything. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think it might even give us a, a small boost of uh, our stores, our supplies, when we first get the, um, the stuff. All right, these level bombers, we got 6, 4, 2, 2, 2. Let's see what happens. Whoops, teleportation, I guess. Now we need to stop launching <laughs> combat aircraft. Whoops. CB, CB, you're fine. Yes, CB is here. Again, they rearrange, they rearrange themselves too quickly. Okay. And you, CV, 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 they're all stopped. Okay, good. Very good. So now we can control those. Just go home. Oh, okay. Dive bombers, that I'm going to be okay with. Oh, interesting. I don't know exactly what happened there, but that's fine. This is what? A fighter? 12 fighters? That's fine. All of that is fine. Those are from Tokyo. But the good thing is we don't actually have to deal with any of this. We just shift our entire operations west. 6-4-2-2-2. So, Ibojima should actually have the capability to launch fighters. And she has. Fantastic. Very good. All right. And look at that. We only lost one fighter. Fantastic. One fighter is going after this guy. I'm not sure why. Yeah, but it's one fighter. Oh. Are these kamikazes? Oh. Looks like it's been shot down already. That was a star. <laughs> Can we see anything? No, we cannot. Okay, well, I guess it was shot down already. All right, so let's just get them both back to Iwo Jima. And from there, we will lick our wounds. Uh, first of all, Iwo Jima, if you do have the, a time, I need a lot of these. That's 26, and I do need, I don't mind, I don't need to replace the Hellcats, but I also need a lot of these, basically everything else that you can afford. Okay, very good. And as soon as we get more money, we'll just immediately start upgrading those, so. And in 29 more days, we'll have enough to, I mean, we'll have a, a shipyard over there, which is good. So even the um, British are running convoys in this direction now. You can tell it's... Oh, this is actually nice. We'll get some destroyers with the dual-purpose guns, first of all. We'd like to set their... Wait, I don't think we ever set these guys. Yeah, they are. Let's set everyone to happy face mode. Excuse me. This is open. Sorry. Here we go. So Happy Mice Food, are they allowed to... Does that change anything? I mean that they're able to... I would like to switch their targeting to... 
Yeah, exactly. So the Portland class does actually have the um, anti-aircraft guns. I didn't know that, which is really good. So I would also like to activate the ones on these. Can I go to... Let me go combat mode. I don't know what's going on with this. Okay, good. Yes, fantastic. Set them all as AA weapons. And last but not least. Again, the only real threats to anything right now are aircraft. So we did that, we're good. And they're good. Okay, good. So 38 knots, they'll, they'll be getting there pretty quickly. Fair enough. Very good. So now we can speed up time again. Looks okay, like one cruiser, one torpedo cruiser are still making their way. Why did CTFB's label go away? The world may never know. We still do have some aircraft and some... Maybe I should combine these groups. No, that would be a little bit weird. Or maybe I could take the... Okay, it actually might make sense for me to take the Louisville, which does have anti-aircraft, yes, and put it into CTF Ables. I mean, this is a big, old, it's a big crap ton of stuff. And mainly what we should be doing is using aircraft to harass things. This is out of the Helldiver range, but, you know, at this point... Still have plenty of super fortresses left, and they can engage. Uh, yeah, just continue. Yeah, I get it. Okay, they're launching fighters. Are they going to be high enough to get my bombers, though? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Simple answer is yes. I don't think this is going to work. This might make them all hit the ground, but I'm actually going to try to use them. I just want to destroy the two carriers so I don't have to deal with those carriers anymore. Obviously, that would be the best. So if I can just destroy the carriers. I imagine with this load time that they are going to be on the... Cert the oh. Well, hooray, they're not. That's good. Let's get the whole group. Turn to formation. Yep, we got some stuff here. So we'll just move the entire group this way for now. Well, maybe this way. And we'll start breaking off ships to do individual attacks in a moment. It's like two are lingering behind, but that's fine. Okay, a fleet is close. I'm gonna drop down to 5600 just to hopefully improve our ability to hit. And I think we can get down to 5600 by the time we get on target. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so let's... Wow, okay. Issei, just get somebody to attack that. Kinu, let's get somebody to attack that. Maybe the Kinu is not a good idea. Alright, another Issei, Akaga. Jeez, what the heck. <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> Ah, there's the Kaga, okay. And where's the other one? So are you, okay. So I will control this one, and I will control the bottom three.
just going to try to line this up more or less. Very nice. Oh my god. It's already passed. <laughs> I did not see how close we were. Well, I could always go for the Issei. <laughs> I think we have a lot of people going for the Issei. I'm going to swap over and go for the Soryu instead. What's their movement? Very little. Still too late. It's okay. We'll just go backwards. Try this again. B29s can really turn on a dime, turns out. Oh, wow, we got one. Wait, that Kaga looks good. Yeah, that Kaga is going down. Holy cow. Some good, good, good hits so far. So let's go after the Soryu then. And look, she's going to be moving, so that's nice. I actually want to shift just a little bit. Start dropping our bombs. Let's see what happens. So we have this. Whoa, whoa. So this guy, have they all dropped their ordnance? This guy has not. What the heck's going on, man? Not exactly sure. Like, who is this? He's over the target. Okay, good. Let's just leave him over the target, by the way. <laughs> by the way, did I hit the Soryu? I guess... Not? Are there still bombs in the air? No, I don't think so. so. I don't think I hit. We did a lot of damage already. Wait, wait, wait. The bombs are in the air, but yeah, they're well behind. I don't... Were those the ones I dropped? Well, Soryu appears to have some magic. She was turning sideways there for a moment. They might have redistributed. I, I don't know. I mean, those might not have been my bombs. Hard to tell. So who's this guy? They have not dropped their bombs. Okay, let's go after... Let's go after the Soryu. She appears to be dead in the water. I don't care at this point. I'll kill you no matter what you are. Dead in the water or not. Gives me more war bonds to buy more of the Helldivers at wherever that was. So I dropped him just in front. I'm wondering if they stagger into her or not. So I dropped him like right here. Let's see if they land there or if they go forward or if they start here and hand here. Just kind of let's get an idea. I don't think we'll sink her just because of the angle, but we should get some hits. Do 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 Yeah, so oh uh, we did sink her. Not too surprising actually, having B29 actually landed shots. Um so they did land starting at that point and going further forward. Well, that's good to know. Okay, you're in route and you're in route. And everyone else has dropped their ordnance. I mean, mission accomplished already. What? You have not. Okay, that's fine. The two that haven't. Just separate these guys into a different group. Because they, they... I mean, they're, they are a different group, right? We don't even really need... We really don't need for this group to go in and sink anything now. I mean, it's already the damage is already done. They lost their aircraft carriers, which was the main threat to us, I would say. 
And I don't really care about sinking the battleships, but since we're here, you know... Actually, what I'll do is probably just give them an order to attack the fleet, and I'm not going to worry about it. Do whatever you can, do your best, but it doesn't matter exactly what you do. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of stuff. Holy good lord. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um... Yep, didn't do anything, but that was kind of to be expected. So they're going to resupply from Marshall Island, which doesn't have anything at all. Well, I have to say I disagree with you there. Why not go someplace? Wait a second. Wait a second. You have stuff. Go deliver supplies to Okinawa then. Jeez, you have plenty of stuff. And actually, I don't think that we needed these guys to slow down, in fact, because um, we need our carriers to get in first so they can take up all the supplies, and then this can be delivered, and then the, air, the carriers can take the rest of the supplies. Oh, oh. Okay, let's view our map and continue. Go ahead and engage. See if they actually are able to fire their torpedoes this time. Yeah, it looks like these guys are going to make it back in time first. Do we just continue to harass this group? I suppose we could. There's nothing else for our B-29s to do in the meantime. So let's see, 4,000, lots of stuff, lots of all that. Oh good, you on map. This is a good thing. Another three destroyers, fantastic. Let's get these guys immediately up to Iwo Jima. Yeah, the Garden Grove herself is here too. Forgot about that. So, wow, we're going to get actually quite a few ships. And where is Task Force 42? I mean, we can actually link up with Task Force 42 as well. Task Force 43. I mean, what, what is everyone doing at this point? What are you guys doing? You're fine. Task Force 42 is at Guam. No, let's get them up to Iwo Jima as well. Everyone's got to be part of the effort here. They're at Iwo Jima. Iwo Jima is just housing everyone. You're doing the escort. That's fine. You're looking around. You're on a long journey. This is the Iowa. Okay, let's look at the Iowa. Let's take a look. Let's set these as AA guns. There she is! Oh man, I really wish we could have seen her in action. But, you know, it wasn't meant to be this time. The game ended too early, right? Because it's September, or yeah, September of 1942, and we're about to end the war. We dropped our first atomic bomb. We just need to suppress these airports, and we can drop the second one. Yeah, we're doing some repairs here. Okay, pause. I don't need to pause, but we do want to get rid of... Okay, Corsairs is fine. Actually, this group is fine. Enterprise, Helldivers, Corsairs. Helldivers, Corsairs, ooh, and some Helldiver dive bombers, but that's fine. And Helldiver, Hellcats. Okay, so we could replace these. Especially the damaged ones, we'll get rid of those. I think we'll just get rid of the whole group, though. And we'll let the Hellcats, we'll swap these Hellcats out and replace them on the other ones. So hell diver. Did I just put a hell diver in? I think I just put hell two hell divers in. I thought I bought like a thousand corsairs. Oh wait, here they are. Whoops. <laughs> okay. 
There we go. Okay. So we will just put the Corsairs here for now. I don't know what distribution of forces I have now. I've not done a good job about this. Okay. Now, the next thing is just let me just eliminate these four dive uh, torpedo bombers so I can get an accurate count. Okay, switch to somebody else, switch back to the Hornet. Okay, perfect. So these are all Corsairs, and these are all Helldivers. Very good. And does this group have full stuff? 582, 103 out of 105. Zero bombs. Not good. Not good. This one has, wait. Yeah, zero out of three or five. Okay, so we need bombs. We need bombs. Bombs are what we need. Actually, we can use, again, we can use torpedoes against any ships from now on. Did we hit anything? I don't think so. Yeah, entire formation didn't hit anything. That's fine. So this group is gonna have a lot of stuff, has a lot of bombs, good. We'll have the CTC in, ready to repair as soon as they get in. So do we want anything, so is, are these all, CTFB is gonna be like an amazing group, by the way. Um, so the Corsairs, Corsairs, and Dell Helldivers. So let's actually get the, everyone we do want Helldivers. These are Corsairs, these are Helldivers, good. I'm assuming the ratio is correct. Okay, let's get some of these back to, by the way, we, these should be selected as AA weapons, but it's fine. Maybe they do that automatically when they're, I don't know, whatever. But let's get some torpedo bombers now. Five, I guess. Okay. Let's get one more here. And that's five, five, and five. Good, 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 good. All right, everything's set. Rebuilding everything else. And we just need to replace a lot of these things, though. We got Avengers. Those, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's too, it's too late for the Avenger. This really shouldn't be in service anymore. <laughs> I'm a little surprised that thing has the distance to go there, but. But that's okay. So, what else do we have going on? Nothing. It's all about dropping the bomb. Oh wow, look at this guy. Well, unfortunately he's put himself in range of a couple hell divers. I don't know why we have Catalina bombers working. That's not... I don't want that necessarily. I'd rather replace those with B-29s. Yeah, I can see two ASW on standby. Okay, the Corsairs are ready to go. Yeah, Helldivers. Let's just swap these out for Helldivers. And send up another pair of Helldivers. Good. And just for good measure, let's also send, well, another Helldiver, I guess. We really want to make sure these guys are dead, because they're about to run into our tankers. Got them. Wow, that was pretty lucky. We got the, like, the last bomber did the job. But, um, well, it all worked out, didn't it? Now, the problem is I forgot. So CTFC is fine, but CTF, wait. So CTFC is really well equipped. So this one should be merged into Task Force B. Are these guys the same though? 
What are you guys? You are Gridleys who don't. Okay, so the no, they do have the dual purpose, which is good, but I think that they're not gonna be as good. So what I'm gonna do is grab these three and put them into, where's Task Force 50? It was just created, there. I want you to be pushed into CTFC, which has um, a lot of the good, a lot of the good um, Baltimores. And then you are gonna merge with, wait a second. Where's CTF Bravo? Huh. Um, are these the guys with the... Yeah, these guys, these are the guys with the Avengers, so those just have to go. Whoops, that's a Corsair. It's not what I wanted to swap. We do want to swap Corsairs for Wildcats, and these are Wildcats. Good lord. Okay, yep, these are, gonna, these are getting swapped and just deleted. Oh, good. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, that's right. I did just mass a ton of these in preparation for <laughs> this fleet coming. We can get rid of the Avengers as well. Oh, that's it? Is that done? No, not quite. Okay, here's more. And yeah, we can use Hellcats for some things. So the Hellcats we can swap um, for the Hellcats we can swap for um, the Avengers if we want actually so we can leave the one which has Hellcats as just Hellcats still so there's the Cottonmouth this one has Hellcats okay so actually I, would, I do want to swap these I do want the Hellcats to stay on this one that's fine with me So we'll just get an abundance of Hellcats and they'll serve as torpedo bombers as well as um, fighter cover if we need. So get me the Hellcats. Oh, this thing is actually already stocked that way. Okay, well, let's swap out the broken Hellcats then. Still two. Get rid of the completely broken ones. Well, those are almost all completely fixed. Okay, well, again, we'll just have to move off that carrier to see what actually is there. So these are all Hellcats. We probably do want to take two more um, Helldivers off. But these are dual purpose. You know what, it's probably okay. This is a very offensive capable, although we really, the thing we want the most is air cover. <laughs> but you know what, there's only so many fighters you can send out and send, you know destroy all the enemy fighters before you need to do something offensive. So I kind of like this. In a weird way, it is nice to have the Hellcats as backups. And this is where we've got to change everything. This cannot, this is not right at all. <laughs> uh, okay, let's first get... I think we want to get the Hellcats as dive bombers, but first let's just try to get the, as many of these as possible. Do they have... Oh, they do have Hellcats. Okay, I mean, they do have Helldivers. That's good. 
So then next step is get rid of these. And we'll swap anything on, but ideally Corsairs, just to give us a little bit more hitting power. We might have enough to do this. Yeah, it looks like I did end up buying enough. It looks like we'll find out, but it's looking good. Is that it? Bit tedious. Oh, we missed one. That's okay. And then let's just go a little bit more Corsair heavy. I don't think we'll regret doing that. Oh, we got one that's ready to go. Yeah, so let's take a look at what this ship looks like now. Okay, so this one is in good shape, almost ready to go. This one's in good shape, almost ready to go. Ah, actually we're a little bit too Helldiver heavy on this one, so we need two more Corsairs. Which are both available, very good. And get rid of the Avengers and the Hellcats and the Avengers. Okay, so that's that one. Let's start with the top again. We have, wow, we still have three. What do we need? I think these should be Helldivers. This was kind of a mistake, but I mean, uh, I think these were just left out of the list on just on accident. So we need one more Helldiver. Oh no! We don't have it. Hmm. Start building one. <laughs> okay, here we have Helldivers and Hellcats. I like this. I, li I really like this one. But we could, I, I was already talking about this. We could get, okay, this is where our Helldivers are going to come from. We're going to swap two more Helldivers out for Hellcats. So it'll be a little bit more heavy on the Hellcats, and then here we'll just go ahead and swap those in. And is that everything? Okay, let's start with the Coyote. Coyote is done. Fantastic. Cottonmouth is done. Diamondback is done. Okay, good. So everything's done. Everything else goes to... Well, we can't find CTF Bravo, unfortunately. Kind of lost them. They're here, <laughs> but they're hidden. So we'll do this. We'll repark them. Yeah. And that this group is supposed to go into CTF Bravo, I believe, so... Let's just add them all. So these are some pretty intense fleets. Let's rename this fleet. I don't know why its name isn't showing up. Okay, its name is showing up now. Let's change it back to caps. Okay, good. So that is 43 minutes, and we haven't dropped the second bomb yet. Well, we should get going on that, shouldn't we? How is everyone's actual supply of things? No, you're in terrible shape. Torpedoes is fine, but, I mean, kind of as we expected, bombs are not good shape. And this is CTF Bravo. Let's look at, whoops. Okay, let's look at CTF Charlie as well. Um, they have bombs, they have bombs, they have, okay, these guys are actually are ready to go, but they aren't ready to go in terms of, of aircraft. Okay, so we just speed up time now. We've done the micromanagement, just need to wait for this thing to arrive, and then everyone else should get their bombs. And basically, we, were, we might as well send the fleets out so that they can be the, uh, do you end up ever getting off torpedoes, ever? Doesn't look like it. I'm not very successful. Yeah, these carriers are not, I mean, the submarines are not very helpful. Wonder 
why oh, uh, Hir Hiroshima is so quickly repairing. It doesn't make, really make sense. I think okay, that was a spot or not from Hiroshima. That's good to see. <laughs> and honestly, I don't know. These, uh, what are these guys going to do if they just sit here the whole war? Just waiting for that to unload. Okay, good. It happened. Wait, what? Okay, let me try this again. Does that mean that they are now loaded with bombs? They are not. Okay, well that's CTFC. CTFC is ready to go. If she's ready to go as far as aircraft goes, yeah, we're gonna send her out. And everything is activated anti-aircraft except for these three. Okay, let's, we'll just have to pay attention to CTFC the first time to make sure that those guns are switched, but let's go ahead and move her out. She's ready to go. Now, CTF Bravo, on the other hand, looks like it is ready. Nope, see, why didn't she load any bombs? Ugh. This is aviation fuel. So, the air, this is Enterprise, Yorktown needs aviation fuel, bombs, everything good. Okay, good. The Hornet needs all these things as well. Why no? Why no bombs? Wait, is there no bombs? There's, yeah, there's no bombs. What? Oh, are there no bombs on this? Yeah. What? There's 5,200 bombs. Deliver your supplies, Mr. Convoy Dog. Okay, they dropped off 300 bombs. I think that's enough, actually. So let me just do this real fast. Move, refit. Does that give you the bombs you need now? Oh good, it did. The aviation fuel's actually still low, though. What? So I think we have to keep doing this multiple times. It's a little bit annoying, but they're just not dropping off enough stuff. Oh no! I can't deliver supplies anymore. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, we actually have to balance this manually. Boy, this is annoying. This is really annoying. Okay, so... 13... 6. That's way too little. I mean, even 13 is way too little. Okay, so put 15 down to... Let's go about two-thirds if we can. 10,000. 9,000. What's up with the Enterprise? Does she have more aircraft or something? Okay, you are... 9, 15,000, 15,000. 16, what the hell? It's bugged. It's bugged, I tell you. So we'll give them like the max, 14, I guess. And whoever has the least, 9,000, that's you. It's the rest, okay. That's the best I can do. I don't know how to deal with these little things. There's, the game has issues still, but we've done our best. So let's get the carriers over here where they can destroy everything at will, hopefully. And Okinawa is pretty much untouched, so maybe this capacity issue is just the capacity issue with um, them. Did you? Oh, you actually did. You. S I love you, Guavina. I love you. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you. For doing something. Two ammunition ships. Let's see if we can take that out. So what I was trying to say is, uh, I. Oh man, I completely forgot.
Okay, oh no, we still can't go to... I want to get these guys to set as a... Alright, let's go to the combat screen. I want to set this as much as... I want. I badly want to set this. Good. Okay, next. 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 Nobody cares about doing anything except this. Nope. Yep. Yep. So the destroyer leaders unfortunately don't have the dual purpose guns. Those are the Gridleys, I think. But these do. And they're locked and loaded. Very good. Okay, so actually nearby us, I think in front of us, oh, to the left of us, these guys also need to, so first of all, you guys can stand off of that mode. Let's go over to these guys who are extremely close by, by the way. <laughs> Do they have everyone locked in on anti-aircraft mode? It's not going to matter as much just because Um, I think there's not that many aircraft carriers, if any, left with the Japanese fleet. But that is a lot of... That is a really good potential. Did we miss one? No, good. Okay, all good. Back to the back to the map. All right, so... Um, do we want to start hitting these targets? We do want to hit with, basically, torpedoes first. And I, I really don't want... Uh, it's for two minutes... Well, we're going to have to call this episode to a close, sadly. I really don't want to, but it's going to be one more episode, and that should be the last one. So until the next episode, thanks for watching, and that will really be the end, so we're really getting there. We're finally there, right? The Iowa definitely won't be able to participate. It doesn't even look like... Well, I mean, she's... Where the hell is she? She's not even to Midway yet. Boy, that's a long ways off. So... But I'm really excited. We're almost there. So until the next episode, another, wow, 50 minutes, holy cow. I'll, I'll catch you back for the next one. Thanks for watching, and take care.